guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got out of Dollar Tree in Oak Hill and I'm gonna sit here and do a Dollar Tree haul. I'm actually doing a vlog today. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick haul and then get back to the vlog. But this is a store I usually don't find a whole lot in, but I feel like I've got quite a few goodies here today. So I just scanned a couple of receipts. I use the app called Fetch. Um, you scan your receipts, and then you get, like, gift cards, like, for after so many, you, get, you can get, like, a Starbucks card or dif different things. So, if you're interested in that, let me know, guys, and I'll send you the link to it. And, yeah. I mean, why not? What are you going to do? Just throw them away? Like, if you can earn extra, not really cash, I don't think, but, like, gift cards. I mean, I'm, I'm all up for some gift cards, for sure. So, anyway, let me go ahead and start this. Let me crack my window because I'm starting to get hot. Let me lock my door. Okay, so I'm just going to start with whatever's on top. Okay. So, this is a decent, I found a, some decent items in there for sure. So, to start out with, I just got this three compartment tray. I'm just going to um, put this in my bathroom drawer, the ones that I have like the, um, ponytail holders and stuff like that in. Maybe this will help keep them some type of organized. I don't know if it will or not, but it's worth a shot. So it, you got three different compartments. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then I have been seeing these. I've never bought one before. It's the Aroma Diffuser. Um, I've saw a couple of reviews that are not that great, um, but I thought I'd just give it a whirl, girl. I mean, give it a whirl, girl. So it just says water free, water free diffusing, battery operated, and I just bought some batteries the other day, and it just looks looks interesting to me. So if you've tried one of these, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'm just kind of curious. I have some oils and different things, so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a whirl and then they did have my husband's favorite candy in there so i did buy two bags and i'll show you why i did get a little something i'm going to work on for easter for him so that right there will i'm just going to keep that kind of hidden away <laughs> and then i just thought this this pan i just i mean you know i'd like to use these kind of pans if we're going to be making cakes and stuff because whenever they're done or you know everybody's done with it you can just throw the whole thing away so i like this pink cover that color is pure easter i mean you cannot ask for another easter that'd be a great valentine's day too though i mean i just absolutely love this they also had a baby blue which was pretty awesome but this one right here is the one i chose and I'll be doing, um, probably me and Fee will be doing something with that. Some type of cake. And then I just got one of each of these just because I thought they were really cute and they were just so bright. I'm like, you know what? These are adorbs. So you have the, is it the Triceratops? And then you have T-Rex. And they're just a bright color. And they'd be really cute in Easter baskets. And it doesn't have to be boys. They're just going to be cute in Easter baskets in general. So, I just thought they were really, really cute. And they're rubbery. You can take the egg out easily. And then you'd have to put it back in to really play with these guys. But they probably won't get played with much. To tell you the truth, they probably won't. And then I found some cute little hair bow things. So, I mean, these are pretty much for me. Um... These right here are, I mean, they're nice size, and they have a really good grip on them. I was testing them out in there. I'm going to pull this bad boy out. So, there's what they look like. They have some claws up in there. See that? So, they're going to stay in place good. And I just feel like if you want to pull the sides of your hair back, these would be really cute. So, I did get two of the pink ones. So, yeah. I really like them. I really like them. They're really cute. So, yeah. And then they only had one white one. So, I'll be looking in the other stores trying to find me a match to this bad boy. But, yeah. I just, I mean, these are, I don't know what, just Greenbrier products. So, you know, you can't expect a whole lot. But, I really do like those. And then, here's something cool. And, I'm going to open one and test it out. Um, this is something new from LA Colors. They've got a whole new line out right now. And, it's pretty cool. I've got a, a, a few different little things of theirs but this is a lip balm and these are all lip balms and they are I love the way they look for one thing this one is called gelato and it's in the flavor orange <coughs> 
So basically, you know, it's like the rounded lip balm on top and you don't have to touch it to put it on, which is a good thing. And these are just easy to throw in your purse or whatever. And I love that there's different flavors. So there's the gelato one. I'm gonna open one, I'll have to see which one looks more interesting. This one right here is in the flavor mint. Oh, they're gelato lip balms, just different flavors. So this one is in mint, pretty cool. And this one is in vanilla. Vanilla, I might try that one, I don't know. And this one is in the flavor strawberry. So how cool are they? Just because the vanilla is more close to my lip color right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try that one. Let me open it. I wanna see the smell and just the feel and just, just in general. I really like these though. Really am liking these. So there's what you got when you get it out and then just pops off. Smells good. Back my hand. Yeah, it doesn't really have I mean, and you wouldn't think it would. It doesn't really have just barely any color. My lipstick came off on it. But if I didn't have lipstick on, I'm pretty sure it's going to be great. <laughs> so, getting the lid. I guess the lid twists. Does it twist on? I think the lid does twist on. Yes, it does a little twist there. Just so it don't pop off. So, anyway, I thought these were adorbs. And just the... Just look at the packaging. Do you see that? Isn't that cute? I love that. So I love stuff like that. Okay, there's that bag. There's that bag. All right, let's jump to the next. So I found these smaller mailing packages things. So last yesterday when I was at the Dollar Tree, they just had the big ones and I did get three of them, but I need the smaller ones too. These right here are just the perfect size for a book. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put these with my other ones. That way I can come out here and just kind of get them all together. Yeah. And then I don't think I have, I'm pretty sure, I know I don't, have this color in the berries. I know I have a light baby blue, but this is a more royal, like um, cerulean blue. So I just thought that was really, really pretty. When I was in there, there was a lady trying to get some flowers and she's like, are you tall? Can you get these flowers down for me? And they were crammed in there in, a, in one big bunch and they were actually actually beautiful. I never would have even have noticed them, but after I got them down for her, like there was five or six in a bunch and they were absolutely gorgeous. And she said she makes her own flowers to put on graves and stuff. So I'm like, that's really cool. You know, and I was looking around, I didn't see any more of those flowers cause I'm like, I wanna get me a bunch of those, but they didn't have any more, so boo. But anyway, I did see these. They only had one of these, so I did grab it. I just think it's beautiful. And then this is something that I got for the Easter baskets. I feel like I might have got these last year for the Easter baskets. It's just the Peeps lip balm. Um, this one's vanilla. I love, I mean, like these, pe this is perfect for Easter baskets. This one's grape and this one's strawberry. So these will be perfect for the Easter baskets this year. Okay, and then this is what I got to fill up with these. I just thought I would fill it like, like fill both sides of this thing up and then somehow get it all closed up and this would be like a whole egg filled with his candies. And they did have bigger eggs, which I was looking at because I was thinking I might as well do a bigger egg, but they had flowers on them. I'm just like, they look, just look too girly-ish, but I just love the the mirror look of this one right here. So I'm gonna put that in there and keep those together. And then I did get one pack of stickers only, but I thought these were fantabulous. It is basically um, revolves around art and like painting and stuff like that. So look at the little apron and then you got the little paint can is really cute. And then you have the crayons down here, which I love. And then that guitar, that is so, so pretty. So, and your little paint palette, it says, I love art. I just think it's really, really cute. So, yeah, I broke down. I broke down and bought it. And then, right here, oh yeah. First off, I have one Boro. See that? I'm not even gonna take it all the way out of the bag. But someone were t was telling me, and I've been looking for them ever since. Someone was telling me they had LOL facial tissues 
and I found them and these did not disappoint baby I did get three one for each of the girls I don't know if I'm just gonna give them to them or just put them in their east I don't know what I should do or save them for the end of the that lol thing at the end of the year give me your opinion guys what should I do so I just want to show you the different sides of this so on top it just says lol and has some stars so there's that side ain't they cute and then we have this side this side and this side they're all different they're all fabulous so i got three boxes of these and this was definitely a wish list item as soon as somebody told me about it every time i go i always look for the lol tissues i'm like do they even exist and yes they do exist and they are absolutely fabulous so there is that and then i got two more bags guys um First off, I found these gorgeous eggs. They're just calling them decor. They was in these bags, but they don't, they ain't staying up in there, so I'm gonna take them out. These are beautiful. I don't, oof, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. I have really no clue whatsoever, but they are very delicate, so I think that's probably why they were in the bags. So I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. They're big. This was the only colors that I saw. I don't know if there's any more colors or not, but I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, they're sparkly. They have like, I don't know, just like beads, like sparkly beads on them. So it's probably not on there very good. So that's what makes me nervous about even handling these. And then I finally found something which I was looking for the hint water and I'm like, they don't have it here. I'm going to have to move. Hold on. I'm just going to have to move because I'm not parked right and people's pulling in here. So I'm probably blocking something. So I'm going to move right over here. So I was getting the evil eye. I was getting the evil eye, guys. I'm going to just park right here. I think this should be cool. All right. Okay, guys. There we go. Um, oh, where, where'd it go? Oh, okay, so I was looking for the hint water because anytime I find it, I'm grabbing, I'm growling, I'm getting it, it's going in my buggy, but they didn't have it this time, but this is something that I have seen other people haul, and I'm like, there's no way we're going to get that, because they did have at one time the little tiny Fiji waters, and I'm like, no, I don't even want the little ones, but this one right here, if you bought this in Walmart, like when you're checking out, they have those things there if you buy this in Walmart it's gonna run you over two dollars something about that Fiji water is very expensive I don't know why is it straight from Fiji I don't know natural artesian water there's just something about this brand so I did get me four of these instead of the hint it's better than nothing right but I was I was happy to find these. This has been a wish list for a very long time. I don't even I can't even tell you how long it's been a wish list. So I was glad to find that. And then they also had something new that I have never seen before. And I got two of these. So it's called Utopia Peanut Butter. And it says creamy. Let me see. Like I just never saw this. It kind of jumped out, caught my eye. And I'm like, let me grab it. So, Utopia Peanut Butter. It says, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Eight grams of protein manufactured for Monarch LLC in New Jersey. This is a 10 ounce container. And the ingredients are dry roasted peanuts, sugar, Sugar, yeah, boo. Hi, uh, hydrox. Well, anyway, when I see sugar, I really don't need to know anything else. I can't have it. Forget it. But the natural peanut butter, I can have a little bit. So anyway, I've been wanting some peanut butter on celery. Have you guys seen the GIF commercials with Spiculus and? <laughs> You don't need a spoon to jiff now, apparently. So anyway, I want some celery and peanut butter. I'm starving. Anyway, I did get two of these. Okay, and now I've got one more bag for you guys. And 
Um, I did find a couple of really cute um, Easter signs, and I got them just because I want to share them with Josh and Hallie. And this is a bunny, and it has a, a, a cotton tail, but that tail looks a little dirty to me, but I, maybe if I fluff it up and do something. The other ones were very dirty, but these... I think I could make it look not not really dirty. But anyway, this one says, follow the bunny. He has the chocolate. I do remember these from last year. So I know I have a set of these somewhere, but I'm just gonna give these to them. They are gonna be over, I don't know if it'll be today, this weekend, but today's baby Ricky's birthday. Baby Ricky, he's one year old today. Can you believe it's been a year? Oh my gosh, like it's been a year. So yeah, they're gonna be coming over so I can give them I'm going to give them a card with money in it so because I don't really know what kind of toys he has and that way they can pick him out toys and clothes or whatever. So anyway, off topic totally, here's another one that says, this chick is ready for Easter. I love this one. I love the pink. I love the, the way they make it look just kind of antique-ish around the edges, like old, old school, but it's not, you know, it's brand new. So yeah, I got that one and then this one here just says, the hunt is on. So that would be cute things just to hang around for Easter, you know? And then I got a card for baby Ricky. Here's what it looks like. It says, oh, it says, it's your very first birthday. And it just has a cute little puppy on it. And just says, a cake with a candle, balloons and fun is a wonderful day because you're one. Happy first birthday. And I'll let my husband fill this out because he's the card filler outer. He is so sentimental and just has a way with words when it comes to stuff like this and cards. So I will definitely be letting him fill this out. He always fills our cards out. He just has a way with words, I have to say, guys. Okay, and look at this. I found one more of these books, so I'll be doing a giveaway with this as well. So this is the one that says, um, are you someone who starts a project, joins a club, goes on a diet, and then gives up? So it's just a motivational self-help type of book. And I was really glad to have found another one of these because when I would, was looking at that one yesterday, I was really hoping that I would find another one so I could do a giveaway. Because I, when I find books that I really love, I really like to give them away as well. So yeah. And it just says, procrastination is not a good choice for lazy people. OMG, are you kidding me? Like, that is so true. That is so true right here, right now. I'm probably one of the biggest procrastinators. I always have been. I've been getting better the older I get. Because, I mean, like, I'm on the go 24-7, like, now. But I still am a procrastinator. Totally. Totally. But I love that. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to read this book. So anyway, keep an eye out. I am going to be doing a giveaway with that book. And then I found a book that I am so excited about. Um, I don't know what this is, but I grabbed it. It says, over 50 projects, everything Oz, make munchkin place cards over the rainbow cake, I'm matching witch candles and much more. So basically, it is a DIY book that is everything Wizard of Oz. OMG. This book retailed for $27.95. Oh no, $24.95. Yeah, $24.95, and I'm just like, I look at, just look at the front cover. Just look at this. <gasps> look at that. Oh, my gosh. When I saw this, I'm like, oh, yes. Yes, yes. How cute. Look, it's a lion hand puppet. I'm never making a hand puppet in my life, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, there's all kinds, in the back, there's like all kinds of, of what are these? here what are these you know tr tr uh, patterns patterns yes patterns wow there's a ton of patterns oh my gosh I'd cut that page out and just put it in an 8x10 frame look at that isn't that great I love that I love that so this book wow a Oz Apothecary. OMG. Look at that. That 
is so fantastic. Wow. I absolutely. Okay. The Amazing Star of Oz. What? This book is fantabulous. Absolutely. Wow. That's a good, that's a good find right there. Last but not least, I have one more book. I don't know um, if I'll do a giveaway on this. I might. Um, I might see if Hallie might want it. It says, Design Mom, How to Live with Kids, a Room-by-Room -room Guide. And this is a New York Times bestseller. And it says, Indispensable pa Parenting Advice. Design a home that's beautiful despite the chaos and sticky hands. Stylish solutions for the never-ending stream of kid stuff. Make it easy for kids to help around the house. Rainy day projects and much more. Just dawned on me, this would be a fantastic thing to put in Hallie's Mother's Day bag. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. There it is. Mother's Day. This is such a great find. Let me just say, let me see what it retail for. $29.95, guys. This is a big old thick, super nice book. I love the handprints on the front. Look at that beautiful, happy yellow. I love that. But let me just kind of do a little flip through. This is fantastic. This is just fantastic. Oh, there's all kinds of things, guys. It's, it's so great. My goodness. I love, I think this would be a super great gift for a mom that has little ones. I mean, seriously. <clears throat> and Hallie is just the best mom anyway. I just admire her so much. She works <clears throat> full time. She has the three little ones. Josh works. He helps her. They help each other. It's just a great little. It's just a great little thing, thing to see your your kids doing. You know, doing good and being happy. So I think this would be a great little book to put in her Mother's Day bag. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Absolutely. Okay, guys, that is my haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I'm gonna go go to. Um, going. Let's see. I think I'm gonna hit Salvation. No, I keep wanting to call it Salvation Army. But, yeah, never mind. I'm going to go over on my blog, vlog, I mean, and finish this. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.